Hey there, beautiful viewers. My name is Abba Ene. Welcome to Family Platform, your show where we give you all the glitz, the glam. I am particularly so excited for today's episode because we have so much to talk about. I mean, so much has been happening. But before that, let's go see the glitz for this week. We're watching Chige performing live. When we get back, we're going straight into all the stuff that we have planned for you today. So stay tuned. Welcome back, viewers. It is still family platform, and yes, we are having such an amazing time in the studio. But is it really an amazing time if I'm doing this alone? You know, I have my beautiful as ever looking co-host, Madam Chu. Drum roll, drum roll. Me too, I'm but don't you, oh, you look so pretty today. Thank as you, always. darling. Uh, thank you, darling. And nice we have Vivian. How are you? Fine. I'm a little cold, but you know, I'll survive. Okay. I'll survive, okay. yeah. I'll survive. <laughs> Good to have you on the show for the second time, by the thank way. You. How are you feeling? I'm happy to be here. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, beautiful people. My co-hosts are ready for today's episode. We're going straight into the top trends for the week. So much has happened over the past one week. And yes, we are about to catch up with you. So let's go see the top trends for this week. The top trends of the week are... Davido's father offers automatic jobs to first-class engineering graduates. Nigerian billionaire and founder of Adeleke University, Dr. Adedeji Adeleke, has pledged his support for first-class degree graduates of engineering from the institution. Adeleke made the announcement during his address at the university's 10th undergraduate and 6th postgraduate convocation. Adeleke, who is also the chairman of Pacific Energy Company, stated that every first-class engineering student is welcome to serve at the branches of Pacific Energy Plants in Ondo or Ogun states for their National Youth Service Corps program. Furthermore, Adeleke pledged automatic employment for these graduates after the completion of their service year. He said, Try as much as possible to get NYC to post you to either Ogun State or Ondo State, where we have our power plant. You are welcome to serve at the plant, and after your service year, you have an automatic job. Brain Jota visits Guagwangwangwa singer Mike Ejiaga. Comedian and skit maker Brain Jota has finally visited the iconic vocalist of the viral Guagwangwangwa song. Mike Ejiaga. This came days after the content creator launched a hunt for him. It will be recalled that Brain Jota has been trending since his new dance content went viral. The content creator initiated a dance challenge using Ejiaga's timeless high life song, Gwagwagwangwa, bringing Ejiaga's 41 year old song back into the spotlight. The comedian subsequently started searching for the veteran singer with 2 million naira. Giving an update in a post on his Instagram page, Brain Jota expressed his delight in meeting Mike Ejiaga. Sharing photos from his visit, he wrote, So happy I did this. Story coming soon. The trending challenge has inspired many celebrities including Fina, Woli Agba, Nosarex, Asisat Oshuala, Mary Lazarus, Kiki, Olua Dollars, Queen Mercy Atang, Fraud, Victoni, and Toby Bakari to create their versions. Nigerian doctor breaks Guinness World Record for largest drawing. Nigerian doctor and hyperrealism artist Fola David has set a new Guinness World Record for the largest drawing by an individual. The Lagos-based visual artist who claimed to draw 1,000 square meters of art that will showcase Nigerians' diverse cultures began the six-day attempt on July 16th at Onikon Stadium. In a now-trending post on social media, he wrote, Congratulations to us all. On day 4, at 9 p.m., we broke the current record of 629.98 square meters, but we're not done, as the goal is to set over 1,000 square meters of canvas cover in drawings. Notable Nigerians who have visited David include the 2023 presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, Former GWR holder Hilda Bassi and Farouk Oreagba, the businessman who stole the show at the 2024 Oju Deoba Festival, among others. The management of the College of Medicine, University of Lagos, CMUL, 
also visited David and alumnus of the college to show their support. The governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Sonwolu, has since congratulated Fola via his social media page. Still on breaking feeds, Guinness World Records confirms man's twerking record. A Nigerian man has thrown social media into a frenzy after he broke the Guinness World Record for the longest duration of twerking by an individual. The man, identified as Babajide Israel Adebanjo, was confirmed as the new record holder by the Guinness World Record on its official website. On 14th January 2024, Israel twerked non-stop for 3 hours and 30 minutes. According to Guinness World Record, Babajide saw the record attempt as a personal opportunity to step outside of his comfort zone and to bring attention to the plight of those who suffered depression worldwide. No record is too insane, large, ambitious, or modest to be accomplished. Everybody and their special qualities have a place, Babajide shared as his message. Babajide aims to push beyond his comfort zone and raise awareness for depression. His message emphasizes that anyone can achieve their goals regardless of their uniqueness. Lagos State Governor denies imposing parking fees on churches and worshippers. The Lagos State Government has clarified that the state's parking policy will only affect motorists who intend to utilize the newly created 1,800 parking slots of the Lagos State Parking Authority. Mrs. Adebisi Adelabu, General Manager LASPA, made the clarification in a statement. Adelabu said the authority was concerned about a recent social media post regarding parking charges for churches and worshippers in Lagos State. The post incorrectly stated that LASPA have announced its will from October charge worshippers and churches in Lagos State who park vehicles on designated streets around places of worship. To clarify the matter, LASPA wishes to emphasize that this information is inaccurate and does not reflect the true intent of our communication. The Lagos State Government is not imposing parking fees on churches or worshippers for parking on streets around religious institutions. Rather, LASPA is implementing the Lagos State Parking Policy to mitigate parking-induced traffic congestion across the state, she said. And in sports, Cameroon coaches allegedly impregnate five underage volleyball players. The Cameroon Volleyball Federation, Feka Voli, has issued a strong denial in response to shocking allegations involving sexual misconduct within its ranks. The Federation is facing accusations that several young players aged between 16 and 18 were impregnated by national team coaches, prompting a very severe backlash and calls for an in-depth investigation. In a statement, Feka Voli addressed these claims head-on, distancing itself from individuals involved and asserting its commitment to the ethical management and development of volleyball in Cameroon. The scandal came to light following revelations made by a professional player in an open letter where she condemned the pervasive trial de Goussard, right of first night and organized debauchery allegedly endorsed by the Federation's president. The player's accusation extended to the behavior of certain coaches whom she claimed were engaged in the harassment and sexual abuse of young female athletes. This scandal is the latest in a series of issues that have plagued sports federations across Africa where allegations of misconduct and abuse have frequently surfaced. We see you. How you work hard at your craft, doing your absolute best. We know how the protein, calcium, and vitamins in Dano Milk nourish you to go for it. For those big dreams. For your hustle. And for quality time with those you love. So when it comes to choosing nourishment, Never compromise on the quality milk that you deserve. Go for it. All right, viewers, it is still family platform. And today, I mean, I just wanted to talk about the, you know, Adeleke University, um, Davido's father, giving, you know, support to the first class engineering graduates and, you know, assuring them that he's going to provide them with jobs and, you know, all of that I think is really commendable yeah it is commendable um, and I wish some other people can do things like that you know uh, why do I wish this you find that first-class graduates end up behind the scene 
for some Igbo rich man who didn't even go to school yeah. and they are just behind their counting money for the fellow. It, it, makes, it makes me really sad. But if we have people like um, Mr. Adeleke coming up to say, look, I'm going to give these people jobs and fantastic ones at that, then thumbs up to him. I'm really, 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 really happy. At least these days I won't find first class students, you know, some even trek the road, sleep under the bridge, mm -hmm. no accommodation, nothing. They can't even find their bearing. And then they say, mm, the only way they know in a book, they don't even know how to make money. All right, all right, guys. Let's go on a very short break. When we get back, we're going to the streets to ask people certain questions. When we get back, I'll tell you what we're asking, you know, Nigerians on the streets today. But yeah, let's go on a quick short break. All right, viewers, it is still Family Platform. And right about now, it's time for the food and nutrition segment. And today, I would like to talk about the effects of energy drinks. Many people enjoy energy drinks for, you know, that quick boost of energy that they provide. However, these drinks can have some negative impacts on your health and your heart. Energy drinks are very easy to get, and many people drink them without thinking about how they may affect their health. With the rise in popularity of these drinks, knowing about these potential heart risks is important. This is especially true for people with heart problems or high blood pressure. Energy drinks can affect your heart in several ways. They may change how your heart cells function, possibly causing your heart to beat faster or in an irregular manner. You can think of these as causing your heart to sprint without a warm-up. This is crucial because such changes can lead to serious heart conditions, especially for people with existing heart issues. If your heart doesn't beat properly, blood can travel effectively to your lungs, your brain, or other organs. Without proper blood flow, your organs become damaged and stop working. If your heart doesn't beat properly, blood can travel effectively to your lungs, brain, or other organs. Without proper blood flow, your organs may become damaged or stop working. I mean, taking energy drinks is basically like waking up and you're running. Like you just stand up from your bed and you start running immediately. That's basically what it does to your heart. So when you take energy drinks, it makes your heart beat faster without a warm-up. You know when you go to the gym, they ask you to do stretches, do cardio before you start lifting weights or you know before you hit the treadmill and all of that so that's really bad for your heart like just giving it that push that immediately without any warm-up do not abuse what you don't understand mm -hmm. please people out there don't i'll tell you moderation is key true whatever you're doing just do it in moderation take it only when you really really need to okay so, yeah absolutely okay we're moving on we're moving on and it's about time to go on a short break but we need to go and ask the people on the streets what their thoughts on surrogacy are we want to know if people even know what surrogacy is what they think of it if they actually know it and how they feel about it so yeah let's go on a short break and hear from the people out there If the person agrees to it, you understand, you cannot just see somebody on the road and no, you just force the person. It's, everything in life is based on agreement. So if the person should agree with that, you can go on. Uh, my thought on surrogacy, as long as um, the person is okay with it, I mean the person is carrying the child, as long as it's okay, the person, and you are going to take care of the person. So I'm good, I'm good. It's because at the end of the day, there are words to be contradicts that you bargain to so so amount at that time and at the end of the day they will not bargain that agreement will not work again that is very very bad my thoughts on surrogacy um it's a kind of like it's a yes or no for me because you know surrogacy is actually helping a lot of people out there 
a lot of people out there who have problems with pregnancy and they can't like they can't give birth but it also has a lot of problems because I think it causes problems between a lot of marriages a lot because when you give birth to your own child it's different the love that you show to that child that you gave birth to is obviously different from somebody else's child so I think it's a big yes or no factor okay beautiful people what is still family platform and it's about time for the insight segment i mean we just heard from people on the streets what their thoughts on surrogacy are and i honestly feel like a lot of people are you know misinformed or have very little knowledge as to what surrogacy is so surrogacy is basically assisted conception there are people out there that cannot afford to bear children on their own naturally and you know Science has made it easy for such people to be able to carry their own biological children, just not physically, you know, from the start, just not carry that child as the the mother physically, but that's your child at the end of the day. And I mean, this has helped so many people. This has brought joy to lots and lots of families. And I think personally, I think surrogacy is such a beautiful thing and Yes, I don't think it has any. I mean, you would say there are disadvantages, but personally, I don't think that it's a win-win situation. What do you think? Yeah, a win-win situation. Yeah. But then again, um, you see, every pregnancy has serious issues attached to it. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been privileged to have three, and I tell you, it, like, it was like being between life and death. So anybody who is doing it for you should be appreciated mm -hmm. one, okay? And um, if it's commercial, please make sure you pay up, okay? And if it's okay, uh, my daughter can't do it, I can do it, then we'll know, okay, it's within the family. Because I've had mm -hmm. or seen cases where you find that some moms help their daughters carry pregnancy to term. All they just need to do because our viewers don't really understand it they take the sperm of the man the egg of the woman and then Implanted implant it into surrogate surrogate. the surrogate the person who's going to carry the pregnancy to them okay just like he said right africans will always be africans and i feel like especially in a country like nigeria we have this idea in our head that the child belongs to the father do you understand and the mother is basically anybody that carries that child in her belly for nine months and like I don't know. It's just, it doesn't seem, you know. Okay. I, I think I know where you, you're going with this. Okay. Now, okay. I, I've seen a case of somebody who is a surrogate and then she became attached to the pregnancy. Okay. Though the eggs isn't hers, neither is the sperm her husband's, but she became attached to the baby after carrying it for nine months. She was finding it difficult to let go. Those okay. things do happen. Okay. So, but all the same yeah. it's a business, business like i said if you're being paid to do this just see it as clear business and do not attach emotions to it mm -hmm. just do your job and then work away mm -hmm. and if it's within the family i don't see me as a mom now trying to claim my daughter's child all because i become attached the only attachment i'll have is that, that of a grandmom mm -hmm. okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay but well, i wanted to ask you ma madam chooks do you would, would you let your, your son okay marry a woman who's been a surrogate before Oh, wow, <laughs> wow, that's a big one. But then again, I'm a very liberal mom. Okay. okay, I'm a liberal mom. Now, if it's his decision to marry a woman who's been a surrogate, I welcome that with both hands and legs. And there must have been something he sees in her that makes that made him pick that woman. So for me, it's okay so long as he's fine with it. Uh, there are people who already have one, two kids, and a man marries them. Mm -hmm. Let alone somebody who, you know, helps a family who couldn't conceive to do it. That's like giving them a lifeline. Mm -hmm. So I really don't have any issues with it. So long as it's comfortable with it, I'm game. It's all right by me. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but I mean, I just feel like a lot of Nigerians are judgmental. Like they exactly. wouldn't want... Exactly. You know, ah, she yeah. don't carry person picking before. Yeah, now that, that's why I say me, I'm a very liberal mom. And the child does not belong to just the mom and the dad. That child belongs to the society in general. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So people if we would, people would talk, people would gossip. Regardless. And that would affect the child emotionally and psychologically. Mm. So. Well, I, I really don't, um, 
I am always one who do not give two hoots about people's opinions. opinions. Because I know even the one where you carry for your belly self, opinion there on top of mm -hmm. That's humans for you. They would always say a thing or two. So for me, if anybody out there needs surrogate, they should please go for it. Mm -hmm. At least it, you, it makes you the biological, you know, parents of the child. True. And then you're, you, you, you're with the baby. You grow with the baby. As the pregnancy is a month old, when they go for ultrasound, you're there. Mm -hmm. Everything they do, you're there. You, you, you're involved. So for me, if you can't do it yourself, please let somebody do it for you True. so you don't stay barren. Yeah. It actually helps to call, call barrenness. True. I know of somebody who has a leaking womb, for instance. She can't carry any baby to them. That's the way nature has made her. It's not her fault. So if somebody can do it for her, why not? And you know, so some people have certain diseases that would not that, even That let prevents them, them from, you know, carrying yeah. babies to them. So like some people who are fibroid. The fibroid just chokes up the baby. What do they do in that situation? So if you can afford it, please go for it. Go Let's for leave tradition it. and Don't Africanness. Let's embrace science for crying out loud. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, beautiful people. It is so sad that we have come to the end of today's episode, but this has been a really insightful you know, discussion. I'm so glad that we're able to touch on topics like this that I feel like people are so uncomfortable Wait. to talk about. Yeah. So, yes, this has been a fun time on the show with my beautiful co-host, Madam Chooks, and, of course, Vivian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, viewers, do not forget that you can join in on the conversation by following us on all our social media platforms. Showing on your screen right now, use the hashtag family platform and let us know what your thoughts on surrogacy are do not forget to keep watching family platform and i remain your host abba ns see you next time bye <laughs>